Welcome back. The sport was invented on Bainbridge Island in 1965. It's pickleball, a combination of tennis, badminton, and ping pong, and it's seen a recent growth that stretches well beyond the Pacific Northwest. Fox 12's Nick Krupke recently visited the backyard court of a pickleball Hall of Famer whose father played a heavy role in how the game is played today. From paddle innovations to national champs and Hall of Famers, many have a connection back to this pickleball court in the backyard of a man from Hillsboro, Oregon. We never saw this coming, where this sport was going to be a recognized sport all over the world. Yes! Got it, got it. Steve got it, got it. Peronto is on his third house with a home court advantage. I wouldn't buy a house if I couldn't fit one in my backyard. The 64-year-old retired PE teacher grew up in Eatonville, Washington, and moved to the Willamette Valley to play tennis for Pacific University in 1976. I love pickleball, too. I know you do, aren't you? Yeah. Then came the time to Brian and his post-collegiate endeavors, with pickleball being the number one love. Yes. No. I complained about these heavy wood paddles that had a teeny little sweet spot. I weighed the paddle. They were 13 times heavier than a ball. I weighed my tennis racket. It was only seven times heavier than a tennis ball, so I knew the weight ratio was all wrong. In came Steve's father, Arlen Peronto, an engineer in the cost-saving department at Boeing. Told my dad a week later he had two prototypes, and that turned into this company right here, the Prolite. For nearly a decade, Prolite was a lone company making composite pickleball paddles, and now there are countless companies in the paddle racket. I think back of uh, being in my dad's garage with dad making his own assembly line, making paddles. And dad made every single part of the paddle except for the edge guards he had that made. Or what? Dummy doesn't like that. No, I would never. No. Steve's no. love of the leisure has never wavered. Pickleball's changed my life, and if you talk to most pickleball players, they'll tell you it's changed their life either in a fitness way, a health way, or a friendship with. One of those decades old friends is 1990 Glencoe high grad Enrique Ruiz. He was like a big brother to me and he still is. Exactly. It's always good to know a good home brewer too. He learned to brew his own beer from his dad. It is really good beer. So I love to, to come to Steve's house. Now I know why you're He always playing. has good beer, that's right. <laughs> Cheers from one Hall of Famer to another. With this Hall of Famer <laughs> over here. As Enrique and Steve were both inducted in 2019. And you know, when you get that jacket on, you feel kind of like you're they're getting the green jacket at Augusta or something. Steve's dad earned enshrinement too as a key contributor to the sport back in 2017. Father, son in the Hall of Fame means a lot to me. For my dad, it was, uh, I, th I think he thinks it's the uh, most gratifying moment of his life was being inducted in the Pickleball Hall of Fame. <laughs> A lifelong learner and instructor, Steve has been known to convert a few lifelong tennis players. And I said, no, I'm not going to play that game. I'm not going to even look at that game. It's such a silly name. Now, Bonnie Williams is a multi-time pickleball national champ. Still have that competitive thread. Yeah, I don't know if you ever lose that if you had it. Are you still laughing at the name? Oh, of course. But now, it just needs to stay. Stay pickled. There's no like barrier to entry, right? Like anyone can get really good. Yeah. Look, from a kid who hasn't played pickleball since I was in elementary PE, if I can do this, you can probably do it too. In Hillsboro, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.